How you doing guys? It's Fritz. I do want to let you guys know it's December 2017, I believe. <laughs> um, it, this Christmas get, um, um, decorations are still out, guys. As you can see, it's beautiful here. I'm in Miami currently, Miami, Florida, in the USA. And, um, and I'm dropping this video out to let you guys know, you know, the pros and cons of smoking and um, what I found throughout my journey of smoking. I believe I've been smoking for five years, maybe six, but mostly five years I've really started smoking. Um, I started smoking when I um, when I started smoking socially. I was working in a restaurant business um, as a food runner, sex expert dieter for like Jeffrey Zakarian and um, in Miami Beach, South Beach. Hey, 305, you know where it's at. But um, anyway, um, I was working there, you know, um, it was a very stressful job. Anybody who works in a restaurant will relate. You guys can relate. You guys know what I'm talking about. And that's really what really started me smoking. Um, at first, I started doing it because of, cause of socially, you know. I wanted to, you know, I was like, hey, you know, how can I relate to other people? And because like, of the stress and everything, I figured, fuck it, I'll smoke. And the advantage of smoking, especially in the restaurant business, was it gave you a reason to have a break. <laughs> I think that's one of the biggest reasons why like got me hooked on smoking you know because it was so stressful in the restaurant business and you really don't have breaks much you know etc just like other other businesses they give you 30 minutes or an hour break um some give you 45 some give you 15 minutes break but in the restaurant business you barely have breaks so when you when you smoke it really helped so that's one reason why it really started me smoking and everything but of course ultimately it's because of the stress you know the stress really really was why I made me start smoking, you know. Most people that start smoking have a lot of stress, and that's how they got smoking. And of course, socially too, like me, you know, if you have friends that smoke, I don't really have friends that smoke, but like it, it kind of encourages you to smoke if you go to parties and stuff. I like, I'm in Miami, you know, this, we don't fucking sleep for shit. Like, it's nighttime right now, and I'm making this video. Um, and that's why, you know, when you party, it, it goes well. Smoking and drinking goes well with each other. And that's another reason why I would say that, that impact my decision to smoke and socially and because of stress slash work. So those are the three reasons I would say I started smoking. And throughout my journey, it's been five years now, more or less. So I'm currently 24. And I started when I was like about 19. Um, yeah, about 19 years old. And currently, I think... I think it's time to stop, <laughs> you know, like at first I didn't want to stop, I mean, I was like, fuck, you know, fuck the future, fuck my life, I don't care about the disadvantage of smoking, I don't care what it does to you, etc, like, I mean, why, like, I'm like smoking out of all the other drugs, it doesn't fuck you up, it's legal, etc, so I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna keep smoking, you know, there was no reason to really smoke, to stop smoking, actually, and um, I would say money-wise, yes, that's one of the main disadvantages of smoking is you're spending money on cigarettes or whatever you smoke, you know. First of all, I do want to say, like, I'm black. <laughs> Some people would say, oh, yo, this guy might smoke weed. Don't get me wrong. Um, I've tried weed. It's not bad. Um, it really, really makes me sleepy and drowsy and all that. That's the biggest reason I don't like about weed, and that's why I never really got hooked on it. But I, I think the biggest reason why I never got hooked on it was... I ain't trying to waste money on weed. <laughs> That's a lot of money a year. Every time I see these guys smoke weed, get addicted, stoners and stuff, I'm like, God damn, you guys don't know how much money you're wasting. So that's the reason why I never smoke weed, or should I say never got addicted to weed. And um, I'm not a big, you know, weed or marijuana smoker. So I barely do it, or I never, I haven't even fucking do it maybe in like three, four, five months. Like, I don't really care about it, especially when I got my cigarettes, you know. Like, that's another reason why I started smoking, too. It's because the cigarettes, I used to tell my friends, now nah, I'm good, I don't need, <laughs> you don't got to give me no weed or anything like that. Because I'm like, I got my cigarettes, you know, we good. <laughs> Fam, you smoke your thing, I smoke my thing, we're good. Mine's just legal, I don't have to worry about the law and everything. So, I think that's the reason why I didn't really get addicted to weed, too. It's because of the law, it was illegal. And cigarettes helped me. Um, help me socially when it comes to people smoking weed. I just just smoked the cigarette, and that made them say, made me be cool socially and everything. So I didn't have to really smoke weed to be cool. And everybody knows when you smoke weed, especially guys, we know we do it because it makes us look cool. <laughs> I started doing it also because it makes us look cool. I liked it. I mean, I didn't really like the smell or anything. I just really liked to oh, go like this. Mm, 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 mm. 
that feeling right there, you know that's why you smoke. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's like fucking ecstasy, sex, you name it, you got it. Oh man, I, I ain't gonna lie, a lot of smokers will trade, wouldn't trade this for sex sometimes. <laughs> we'll be like, nah, baby girl, well, I got some cigarettes, we're good. <laughs> you know, this feeling some, is, sometimes is way better than sex. Don't get me wrong, sex is awesome, but you know, we know <laughs> for a fact that that feeling right there, boy. Boy, that feeling right there, I don't tell you, <laughs> you know, you got to be a smoker to know, you know, to relate, you know, that feeling is awesome, and that's why we do it, it's really fucking, like, awesome, it, it really, I mean, it's like a, it's like the biggest, um, biggest advantage of smoking, you guys know, it's just that feeling, it's like, uh, it's like a medicine, I call it my poison, you know, in this one, there's many poisons, many forms of poison, etc. Drugs, money, sex, entertainment, you name it, traveling, whatever. You know, there's many forms of poison, there's karma and all that. But, <laughs> you mean, there's people that just like to eat, you know, that's that's a poison too. So, there's many forms of poison and stuff. Like, I felt like you had to pick your poison. And, you know, I'm like, cigarette right there? I ain't a bad poison to pick, bro. If I had to trade it <laughs> any poison, I'm going to choose this right there, boy. I mean, I, <laughs> some people will change it, but I'll pick money, I'll pick sex, etc. But there's a benefit in the money. You, got, you have a lot of money, you got a lot of problems. I, <laughs> it got 99 pro I got I got 99 problems, but cigarettes ain't one. You know what I mean? So cigarettes doesn't, um, problem-wise, present-wise, like short-term-wise, it doesn't really cause too much problems per se. So that's why cigarettes is not a bad form of poison to choose at the beginning. And that's the reason why I did cigarettes. I mean, you know, I was like... That's my poison I'll pick. That's the one thing I want to be addicted to, I want to do. Because it's really, really minimal at the beginning, etc. You know, you, you could do almost anything with it. It's not a big deal. It's not going to really affect you too much and all that. Yes, if you go on a bus, a plane, etc. You're going to be like, oh, God, I can't smoke for this much hours. Oh, God. You know, but, you know, it's just about your mindset. You know, how long can you last? Can you keep yourself busy? Because, you know, if you can do all that, like cigarettes, you know, you can handle the problems that occurs. You know, it's not the worst problem in the world. So, that's what I love about cigarettes. But anyway, the pros are the feeling. Um, the pros are the feeling. The, the way it makes you look cool. Um, just smoking in general. I mean, having the ability to say, yo, I'm a smoker sometimes. It, it, it doesn't have that much pros, I would say. Um, it also keeps you away from other drugs. Like that's the, one of the biggest pros people don't realize. When you're a cigarette or a smoker, especially when it comes to cigarettes, it keeps you away from other drugs. You know what I mean? And, and what I mean by that is if you have that mentality, that mindset to say, hey, I'm a smoker. I'm good. This is enough. I don't need no other things. And by using this as like your first um, addiction, it really does keep you away from other drugs. So that's one of the biggest pros I would say about smoking. And um, it's not too cost efficient too, so it's not like you gotta spend too much to smoke. So that's another thing about it; it really helps, and it also helps with the stress and everything, anxiety and all that. Um, it makes it makes you feel comfortable, but it's just an illusion. Everybody knows that. Um, but the disadvantage is so much, man. Like for example, my car, man. You know how many holes I put in that thing of cigarettes, the buds and all that. My jeans got holes in them. Hey, you know, so many jeans you buy, and like I feel like being a smoker every month when it comes to shirts, jeans, you're gonna have to you buy a lot, a lot more because of that. You know, when it comes to your clothes, cars and stuff, you know, the fire, the burning, and everything. That's one of the biggest disadvantages of it. it. Makes your car smell, makes your clothes smell, makes your breath smell, makes your body smell. You know, so the smell really sucks, dick. Like you know, especially people that don't smoke, it really affects them, man. So the smell alone is one of the biggest ones. The affects cigarettes causing certain things is you know one of the second biggest things um i would say and then you know there's a lot of health issues man so much but <laughs> the thing about the health issues it depends on your body your genes and etc but it's not i would say it's not short term it's long term really so um in a way the health issues isn't a big deal especially for us like who when we really start smoking or do smoking we tell ourselves, hey, look, man, we're not really trying to live to 60, to 80, to 70, etc. So we're just trying to live now in the present, not really in the future. And that's really what makes us smoke and be smokers, you know. It keeps our, um, it keeps us from worrying about the um, <laughs> our 99 bras, <laughs> you know what I mean. 
but um that's the thing so there's so many disadvantages of smoking that i we know that i know and uh, the advantages you know they were good though i ain't gonna lie i enjoyed them for those five years <laughs> i don't regret it too i don't regret it man like it was good like yeah everybody gonna be like Yo, i regret smoking but look it depends how long you've been smoking it depends what it caused you etc and smoking doesn't really fuck you up it's your mindset really so um i don't regret it too much but i do want to say i have to stop or better yet i want to stop it's it's about to be the new year's and i want to use that as my new year's resolution guys um if you if you just joined this channel like subscribe comment let me know you know give me your questions let me know what you guys think about about you know let me know if you guys think i'm wrong or let me know if you guys want to put some more disadvantage of smoking i mean i am about to quit soon but i am gonna finish my last pack though i mean i spent money on it and i gotta finish so but and then it's also because i said like i'm trying to quit on the new year's i still got a couple more days left so definitely we'll finish my pack by tomorrow whatever or today and then uh, the plan is to not buy any more packs to really quit and i want to let you guys know if you guys are joining the channel just like subscribe and everything and hit the not notification bell and i will keep posting videos and let you guys know my journey into quitting and what i'm going through when it comes to um, quitting and all that and also what i'm going through when it comes to smoking and stuff and um if you guys have questions and stuff too i'll make videos about it like so you, everybody can relate so you guys can get answers so you guys can see how it is um and so we can so you guys can get your answers quite answered and everything you know so don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell guys peace out and remember don't be a don't be a i was gonna say don't be a quitter but really just be a doer you know what i mean so when i say don't be a quitter this you gotta be a quitter about but <laughs> This has got to be a quarter about, but I have so many things I want to do the next this year that's coming up. So that's why I really want to quit. I have a lot of goals in mind, a lot of things I got to achieve. And so I feel like cigarettes is holding me down. But not only that, I just don't want to put time into saying, hey, let me get out. Let me go grab a quick smoke. I want to just be like, take it out of my life, take it out of my schedule, etc. So guys, really, I know they be saying don't be a quitter, but this you have to be a quitter about. Um... You definitely got to be a doer, man. Take actions. And if you've been saying you want to quit, you want to quit, you want to quit, just do it. So New Year's about to start, guys. I recommend you do it. This is a great New Year's revolution. It's a great time to quit if you really want to quit. Stop saying you're going to do it tomorrow, etc. Like, I'm probably going to quit today, if not tomorrow, most likely. Um, and like I said, if you're new to this um, channel, just like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm going to post a video, most likely, um, every day. So you guys can see if I'm really going to continue continue what i'm saying see if i'm really lying or bsing and so you guys can see my journey when it comes to quitting and also if you guys are quitting um you guys can quit with me and so that you guys are not doing it alone you guys can see that you know there's other people out there doing it and also you guys can um message me and everything like put a comment and everything follow me on social media and just you know follow me through this um big move in my life you know this is a really big move and you, you know we'll be there together and everything guys thank you so much um for watching my video for coming to my channel and everything i really would appreciate the subscription guys and peace out take care hey